After today's uh, proceedings, before we start, just the usual sort of things we get out of the way. If there's any bombs, if you go that way. If there's a fire, if you go that way. Bar, that way. Toilets, that way. And only the shops, that way. That's it, that's how we're done. Watch the wires as you run in and we're all good to go. Okay, um, myself, I'll see them from Get Out of Debt Free. We've got Rob Freeman and we've got Rob Bollocks who will be here shortly. Speakers for today in that order. Um, we've got a lot that we're going to be going through. A um, lot that we're going to be talking about. It's a proactive day. So it's fantastic to see such a great turnout. In fact, I think this is looking like our best turnout so far. So, Critical Mass Radio, um, we all know Critical Mass Radio, what we try and do. The purpose of it was to bring everybody together, all groups, free the North West, um, we are change, all these different kind of groups, get our debt free, etc., and bring us all together and start being proactive. Like many of you guys know, you've been awake for quite a long time, I would have said. And a few years back, it was all but in the air, nobody knew where to catch anybody, meet anybody, everyone was looking for groups, nobody knew where to, to sort of meet up and everyone was looking to see what was going on. Now, it's all changed now. Um, we've moved very, very quickly in the last few years. Groups are doing, there's a lot of good work up and down the country, a lot of meetups, um, and a lot of sort of proactive things happening, but it's not enough and that's why I'm going to be talking today. So, are you in there, Lisa? Yeah. <coughs> Thank you. Right, okay. Um, Proactive, let's just start with the proactive side of things first. I was in 1989, and YTS, if anybody doesn't know any young people, <laughs> the back there. Um, youth training scheme, as it was then, full of hope, great stuff, boys school, if out into the world, £29.50 a week, doing a YTS. I was going to be a joiner, I was going to be a plumber, I was going to be everything, the world was my oyster and all that crap. Um, and I used to sort of work around people, blokes older than myself, who used to say, oh, this country's gone to the dogs, mate. You've got no chance. Get yourself a stack of truck license and you'll be fine. And that was it. And I used to listen to them and think, well, I'm older. just bits of old men and, you know, the wives passed them by and they've got beer bellies and hair out their ears and all that crap. So I did take any notice of it and just sort of carried on. Now, you know, 24 years later, I'm sort of finding myself saying the same thing. The country goes to the dogs. And you can hear this in every other country. You can hear this in your local supermarket. You can hear this sat there talking to old people and Greg's dribbling, talking about how crap things are and how they're fed up and how nothing works anymore and how things are different in their day. And the point I'm trying to make is nothing. that old saying, the rich are getting richer and the poor are getting poorer, we, we, we all find ourselves saying that and it's nothing's changed after all these years and I don't think anything will unless, like now, we do start being proactive and actually getting up our arses and doing something. Little comments that wind me up from people, um, and we get them at the station all the time, we get them for meetups, things like the great conference, um, but the chair was a bit uncomfortable, so I won't be coming to the next one, uh, not for me. I was going to come, but it was raining, and I you know, really didn't fancy it, that type of thing. Um, what's the point of turning up at these meetups, and this is people listening, because this, this is going out all over the place. The purpose of turning up for these meetings is like this now, because we're going to have a great atmosphere, we're going to have a fantastic day, lots of beer flowing, everybody meeting new people. There's people from Sunderland, Scotland that I've talking to before that have come all the way, even just for a few hours. So that's fantastic, and that's what we want. So well done to you guys. <laughs> um, one of the inspirations for myself was Get Out of Debt Free, um, and people say to me, £10 for this, £5 to go. Wait, you're taking a piss, aren't you? I'm not, I'm not paying that. I mean, what's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it. Just by listening to Rob Freeman, Ceylon, Rob B, just for 10 minutes, you're going to save yourself hundreds of pounds, and that's what people don't realise. So, everything, all these things, so well done to you all, because all these things cost money, they take a lot of time to set up. So, for all the people out there on the internet saying, all the trolls, and there's probably a couple of them here today, saying things like, oh, well, you know, you're just making money off it, but nobody's making money. Nobody in the truth movement makes money. We're just here to try and help each other. So, again, well done to you all, guys, because at least you're getting angry now and you know what we're all about. So, yeah, um, it, how are we sort of moving forward then? Have you got, uh, with the white test, next slide there, Lisa. <coughs> right. <laughs> These... <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Exactly, right, thank you. Right, so this is, I don't really, really say much here with all this. People seem to see these things and go, oh well, what can, what can you, that's another line, what can we do about it? It's just always been this way. 
uh, you know, that's just politicians for you. you know, everyone knows we're corrupt, but they're doing this as the, as the voting as well as they're queuing up, which I still can't get my head around. You know, it, it just, yeah. just it doesn't make sense. But then you get smart asses telling you that £53 a week. I mean, like I say, people pay the tenant to come here, people have got a hotel, people just approach the chips or whatever in a pint, and there's your £7, whatever, 57 that you spent in a day. So all that bald headed. Uh, how that's going to sort of happen, I'm going to have to cover myself down here because these are the type of things that wind me up. So, this is what I'm saying, these are the type of things that we need to start overcoming because we got to start getting angry about all this, right? And start working together and dealing with it all because saying that there's nothing we can do about that, that's we might as well just go, no, we might as well just give up because your generation, the generation after, it's up to us. Alex said to me about three years ago, it's up to us now, it's up to this generation, otherwise because the generation after they haven't got a chance, and I'm not sure if I believed it, but if you look at some of the kids now, and I'm not slagging people off, but if you just look around you, you just see what the generation is and you think, you know, apart from the other few, and there's got a couple of young people here today, which is great, you, you, start, you start wondering, it's just, you know, you just think, we haven't got a chance. So it is up to us to start dealing with these people and start fighting this back peacefully. I'm going to say peacefully because there's a lot of fluffy people out there, um, Peace and Love Brigade, and they've got lots of nice fluffy ideas and you know it's, it's all about love and great energies and we should all be for each other and, and hugging each other, squeezing each other's bum and that type of thing. <laughs> right, and then when it comes down to it, you, dis you disagree with one of them and you've been slagged off right across the internet, right across the world, they're falling out with you, putting nasty messages up everywhere and you don't want to speak to anymore mm -hmm. and they just roll up a big spliff and get stoned for the rest of the night and that's mm -hmm. it. So, next slide please Lisa, thank you. <laughs> this is what this is what this is what's happening when you sort of leave things to this. Just corrupt, man. Corrupt. It's, if, if you if we just going to just sort of step back, then that is going to happen. I mean, how many celebrities? Not allowed to mention them. Are coming out now? How many celebrities are out there being sort of worded that they're being touching people up and doing nasty things? And and that's what happens when you start seeing the blind eye. Um, Brian Clare was it a guest that we had on Critical Mass about three or four months ago? I'd, Virtually everybody in tears because of what he was subjected to as a kid in Sunderland. And he mentioned a few names then, way before the uh, mainstream media came up. And that's another point I want to make. The mainstream media, and the alternative media, us, this is up towards and this is where, because they're, they're watching us very closely. The other, I, sh I showed the other night, the Real Solutions show there. Um, and Paul Fitch, yourself there, don't you, mate? Got the first hour we're talking about this, the whole. Meet up, everything was going great. Next thing it got off, I get a message from the guy, the service provider, saying, Well, yeah, somebody's had a go. And it keeps happening. So the more we're touching the nerves, the more they're watching us and they put it out in yeah. mainstream media, butter it, you know, watch it down, and this is what we're getting. This is the kind of thing, and there's more of it, as you know, that's <coughs> happening every single day, and we're covering more and more and more. Yeah. And it should have stopped years ago. Mm -hmm. And it's only because people then said, I'm all right, give me another baby sham. Let's get on with it. And this is where I want to. Next slide, please. One. This is where we're going. Yeah. This is where we're going. This is happening. There's two, there's two points on this. Um, you've seen the, the old policeman on the street, the old Bobby that you used to sort of talk to even when you were a kid. And you don't see this anymore now. Now it's all becoming private. You all know what's happening. You see more and more. You start noticing these more and more. I've seen it. People just up in these. Even if it's um, just the, like they say, so-called security guard. If you start seeing how much power these people actually have when you start questioning them, you do have a lot more power. You can sort of they basically arrest you now for, for, for virtually anything. Apparently, this um, it saved it saved it saved their uh, 20 million setting this police force up. Saved 20 million. You keep saying about all these savings, don't you, the government? Yeah, but he's saving us, saving us 20 million, he's saving us 50 million. Well, I don't see anybody receiving any of this money. I've never seen anybody <coughs> receiving any of this money. Every day, you know, we're scraping and scraping, trying to get by, and these are making billions off us every single week. And it's happening across the world, again, because nobody's saying anything, and that's what today is all about. Throughout today, listening to Rob Ceylon and Rob B, they will be giving us um, some methods, some organisation skills. We'll be talking about groups that will get together and some ideas that will put together in order to stop um, the control that these people are putting on us to take the thumb off our heads. Ceylon was um, in a bit of an altercation with you about three or four weeks ago, standing up for the rights of other people and himself, um, and the police basically stood by. It's more like Ceylon's going to talk about on that. 
But that's the type of thing that's happening, guys, if we don't all stand next to each other. So this is what I'm talking about being proactive. We need each other to be here, linking arms for each other. So this is the whole day's events. That's where we're going with. Next slide, please. Hold. This really winds me up. <laughs> no right. way. Here we go. Surprise. Here we go. So that thing where you used to go into to the boss's office and it took you a week because you were crapping yourself and you were scared just to ask for another £500 a month. Um, and these people are getting, I think it's gone from, what was it, 68,000 um, to, sorry, 78,000 and it's gone up to 96,000. That's what, that's what they wanted. They thought that's what they are worth. <laughs> this is what I'm saying. That's aside from the expenses. So, um, and we know about the expenses there, which we'll talk about a bit with somebody who's just passed on, um, glorious sex leader. So, it's, I can't, it, it just, people read this every day in, in work and they talk about it, oh God, they say, oh, it's disgusting now, and they say, oh, you know, and that's it, it's forgotten. And it, we can't let this, we can't let this ride anymore, I can't stress that enough. It has, we have to start taking action. And the, the hardest thing, and you all know this, the people, the hardest to convince are your friends and family. They all look at you like you're mad. They don't get what you're saying, and they come out with things like, "Yeah, but we did all this 30 years ago, so you know it's, we've had our day." And it's like it's like they're giving up. And, and they're the hardest people. If we can't convince them that there's a massive change taking place, which there is, then we're, we're going to be struggling with everything else. Just newcomers to all these different types of groups. A lad there from Scotland before was saying, "I want some help starting up a group in Scotland because it's hard there." I met a couple of lads from um, from Ireland at, uh, in Middleton. And they were saying the same thing. The, the, the only you know is Manchester, Liverpool seems to be the place where everything's happening. Sheffield is now, and Leeds are starting to wake up to everything. So I'm seeing it through the station every single day. And the groups that we're involved with, I'm seeing the amount of people coming together and the amount of work that's been done is absolutely fantastic. If we all come together and say no, then that kind of crap stops basically, doesn't it? <coughs> well, on, next one, please. He's here again, him. Mm. Okay. Mm. Right. There's really nothing I can say on this because that's how much they're taking piss out of us when they can say, you've got a spare bedroom and basically you're going to tax you. Um, the powers that be with all the castles and all the mansions and 500 extra bedrooms that they've got, nothing. It's the same old story. You've heard all this before. You don't even need to tell you any of this. But when people stand up in public and say things like that and they actually justify it where people agree with it to the point where yeah, oh, I, mm, yeah I can see the point well, it's, it's putting money back into the community it's putting we have to start paying our way that's how they've got us they've got us completely twisted apart from the people in this room and some people watching it and again this is this is that's 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 insulting that's they're, they're, they're openly taking piss out of us yeah it's not as if they're trying it on a little bit, how far can we push it? They're going, these are, these are thick, these people. We have thought as much crap at them as we can, and they're that stupid, they'll take it. And you know what? They have been, we've all been that stupid, and we've all been taking it until now, the last couple of years. Unfortunately, more and more people still accept that. You go out, if you go into Manchester, if you go and nip out after in between talks, and you go around and you say, everybody with 15 bags of shopping, zombie looks in the faces, hot dogs sticking out of the face. It's frightening, isn't it? It's frightening. You've seen it wherever you come from. It's frightening. This is what we're up against. People are sort of this brainwashed, dense look on them until they wake up. Next slide, home, please. I don't get this at all, but this is what's been happening through time. Now, this train that none of us want is ripping up all the countryside in England and making absolute millions of it. Again, they're saying that there's going to be something like 40 million that's going to be made from it and over time there's money coming in, there's revenue coming in, but nobody sees it. We're still using crap roads, we're still using crap services, we've still got no benefits. So where does all this money go? It goes to the few at the top, I mean the backhanders, as you know, you know, slapping each other's head, and that's it. And again, but people just talk at that and just accept it as, well that's life, this is what we are, this is how it is, and this is how it's always going to be. And we know that it doesn't have to be like that. And they know now, they know that we're starting to, to click onto a lot of this and that's why they're putting the foot down in a lot of things. There's sort of money, I mean, there's a lot of opposition to this and they're still going through with it. And that's the power that they think they have, where they can just go, it doesn't matter, let them go up with the little boards, it doesn't matter. They'll still keep doing it until we stop them. You got the next one, please. Lisa, thank you. Right, this, another one, right, I don't know, a lot of you people who just come in on the way here, there's a pebble. 
That's a pebble. That's a pebble that costs twenty thousand pounds. It's a bit of sculpture that you have in your local city centre. Twenty thousand pounds for a freaking pe pebble. Right? I've seen people on a Saturday night. Right? This is on a pebble. And they're talking about, you can't have that, we can't spend money on this, we can't spend money on that. But what we'll do is we'll commission a frigging pebble like that in a room, right? But I'm, I'm pe I'm pe people taking pictures of it, rubbing it, and good luck charms. And, 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 and it's a pebble. I'm trying to put, and you've all got something like that. Wherever you are in the country, you know, you're walking through your city centre, even your town centre, and there'd be a stupid frigging obstacle like that that's cost thousands of your money, right? Again, and, but people don't see it. Now, in some cases, you know, if you can pick it up and skim it across the water, it might be useful. I don't know if there's someone big enough to have a few like that. But that's the only, there's, no, there's no use for it. So it's not as if it's helping anyone. But again, you don't really think about these things because you just go past them every day and you see a pebble and you think, oh, wow, and that's it and it's gone. But again, the money that's been taken from us that could be put to something else, um, you know, it's, it's just disappearing, and it's disappearing on that, and it's these councillors, because we'll be looking at councillors again throughout the, throughout the day, because what we'll be looking at are bailiffs, um, the councillors in particular, something that will be how corrupt they are and how much we're all suffering because of these councils. Again, um, I think it was one council that I read something a couple of years ago, in um, £16,000 on tea and biscuits that I spent over the year. And I think it was more of that, I'm just trying to, to watch it down, but it was, yeah, so basically, you know, these little meetings for, you know, tea and biscuits, that's, that's, um, that was some dinner time, that was. Okay, we've got another one there, I think. Right, thank you. Right, this, um, this, right, this is what I'm talking about. The amount of people that come even to the radio station, come to these groups, who sign up for the groups and they say things like, yeah, that's it, yeah, I'm going to meet there, I'm going to be doing this, I'm going to be out there, yeah, power to the people, I've had enough of this, I'm sick of it, I've got holes in my jeans and pissed off, right? And then he comes to a meeting, I've had it already this morning, People say, I can't make it for whatever. You can't make it to every single meeting. But when you're making it, when people make excuses and people are watching this, it does affect you know, the group, it does affect what we're trying to do. Because it just, it just cause this, it's the same people turning up and doing the same thing every single time. And we are seeing an increase in people doing that, which is great. But it's the same people again who say that they're going to be out there doing everything and they're talking out their arse. So all the people talking out their arse, if you don't think turning up to these meetings helps and you're wrong, if you don't think donating 50 pence to one of these sites, it helps. Honestly, we're all, we're all working like you guys do. Uh, you know, every every hour we got people got kids, this, that, the other, and then just every spare bit of time we're out in Liverpool talking about chemtrails. You know, out in Manchester, Leeds, everywhere. This is what they're doing. This is what we have to do with every bit of time we've got committed. And these, you need people. You think it's not affecting them, but it's affecting them every single day. You know that. Um, agenda 21, Rob B, we'll be talking about Agenda 21 um, later on um, in the afternoon. William Haig, he's another one, defends taxpayers' money for Thatcher's funeral. I think we were getting figures around is it 10 million now. It's different, yeah, it's different it's figures, nice. okay. Um, <coughs> she wasn't very popular, especially up here. Um, but yet, you can justify apparently spending 10 million on um, a funeral. And, and do you know what? Let's just say anybody's funeral from the state, yeah. it's fine. And he's saying that, um, when he heard he said, yeah, but um, it's, it's the money that she brought in. <laughs> it's the money that she brought in. You should be thankful for what she did. You never had that old comment. You've never had it so good that she came out with. <coughs> Nobody else has seen it. So again, it's a few people. Um, mm -hmm. The members of the European Parliament, MEPs, um, don't, these are, don't come because these are sort of, you get different figures as much as the research that we can do. Apparently they're getting three hundred pounds just for clocking on in the morning. It's that type of thing that's going on, and you keep seeing things like that. I'll be reading something out, but again, this is something else that we'd be taking the piss out. Barclays secret tax avoidance factory that made one billion a year disbanded, profit disbanded. So what it is, Barclays, that are sort of like a little quango. People used to get together and go, "How can we screw the public?" And they were making like, as I say, a billion a year. So we know the banks are at it. We know who's at the top of this. We know who's doing it all. Yeah. But again, money being taken out. So we've seen it from pebbles to banks where the money's been taken. Okay. Um, is it, this I want to read out. This was on um, Rob Freeman's show, the Out of the Matrix show, a couple of weeks ago. And it's something I've been looking at. Now, when you're going, you see, you start to see it more and more now. It's, it, to me, it's a stealth tax. And it's hard because people don't like talking about it because it's charities and they don't like to sort of harm the charities, which is right because there's a lot, let's not generalise here, there's a lot of charities doing a lot of good work. 
So if you ask for years, I thought, how are these people affording this? How are these charities affording to pay people out in the streets to come up to you and my dear to death on your dinner time to sort of sign up to some charity? Especially the WWF, they yeah, watch that one. That's, that's bloody as hell. Right, <coughs> these figures are going to read out. Cancer Research UK staff wages 2012. Well, thanks to Rob Baird Freeman for letting me have this. Um, right, one person gets between the 210,000 and 220,000. So, to tell you who, who these people are, so I'm just going to structure it down. Two, two people get around 170, 180,000. This is wages. And it goes on from 160 to 170, and so on and so on and so on. 28 people get 80,000 to 90,000. 36 people get 70,000 to 80,000. Total wages, um, wages total more than 107.3 million for 2012. So charities, that's some, that's some screw that is for having a charity. You see what I mean? Now, let's not stop supporting charities. Let me just make that clear before we start getting complaints. But let's be careful about who we are supporting because that is more right than you know. That type of thing is happening all over the place. And that's got to stop. Again, proactive, coming together, working together. We're all in it together. We've got next slide home, please. I was going to get this guy in here somewhere. Roberto John, the best. We are winning. I've seen it for the last week. I see it every single day. The amount of work that people are doing, the amount of progress that's happening, the amount of way forward from when I saw Get Out of Debt Free a few years back to what it is now. And it, I mean, God, if you just have to go on the forum with thousands and thousands of posts and thousands of people working on it. Rob Freeman getting chased down the street everywhere he goes now for autographs and, and advice. You can't even go to the loop without getting hassled that guy. So, you know, Critical Mass Radio, all these, Freedom Northwest, We Are Change, all these groups, they're doing fantastically well. And I'm seeing it. And I wouldn't be standing here today if I thought we weren't getting anywhere. But what we are saying is we need to consolidate this now and we need to move forward as one. So I want to say thank you really to all of you guys because I know a lot, I've seen a lot of faces. I keep seeing the same faces out there and I keep seeing them at all these different demos. You need to do that. If you need any help um, setting up your own sort of groups everywhere, just let us know. Let the people know and we'll, we can help you. We're all there. That's it. We're all one big unit and we'll try and help you more. We've got to get these fuckers out at the top. I believe in going for the ones that are mouthing it off. The ones at the top, right? The Freeman, the Freeman aspect where we're dealing with things day to day, writing out letters, you know, for me, I'd say, excuse the French guys, I know I've been swearing a bit, I know it's a bit early, but fuck them, right? Um, I, don't, I don't pay anything. Because while I'm seeing people like that laughing it up at our expense, I'm not, I don't see why I should pay it. It doesn't make sense to me to be paying it. It's wrong. It's it's vile. It's, it's it, I, I just can't do it anymore. So just, you know, there's ways that you can tackle them or just everything lets us be thought. And collectively, you've got 100 people down the street not paying council tax, poll tax. There you go, there's a winner. What are you going to do? Unless you're all on the same day. Can't do it. If you all know who's, who's in it together, if you all know that this group's part of you know, point B branch of We Are Changed, then that's, that's fantastic, you all get together. And if we stand together while well, people's houses are being taken out from them, <coughs> when they've got kids crying, when the kids are being taken from them, but if you stand there and we've got, you know, 30, 40, 50, 60 people stood outside the door with four coppers, yeah, and two bailiffs, bulldogs stood there thinking of the big I am, they're not going to stop us, they can't stop us. Safety in numbers is the key, right? It's a group effort, that's what we're all here for today. We need to keep it up, remember these words, remember how good you're doing, remember how far we've come in the last few years. If you fast forward and we keep going at this rate, we're going to be doing some fantastic stuff. So guys, enjoy the rest of today. That's basically it from me. We've got Celine up next. Thank you all for coming. Thank you very much.